everyone, and today I'll be showing off my amazing Sturdy Valley Farm. And by amazing, I mean it's not that good, it's not even finished, and there's a lot of random trash sitting around, like my mail right here, and lots of other items just sitting around. And my dog will probably be barking a lot and barking over me as I talk, but I try to turn down the volume a lot, but it's still pretty loud because there's so many animals on my farm and they make so much noise. So starting off in this corner, um, it's my horse and my shipping bin. And I also have a lot of statues and plants, as you can see, around my farm because I wanted to decorate it and make my farm look nice, but there's not a lot of items in this game that you can use to decorate the outside of your farm. So, over here is my little storage area, and it's pretty small, but going on in my little areas, there's like chests so I can put stuff in the place that it needs to be, so my flowers will go down here, and the chest that's down here in my little garden, uh, as you can see. But yeah, I have all my manuals, monster stuff, and resources over here. And here are three fruit trees. Right now it's spring, so my cherries are ready, but not harvested. As you will see, there's a lot of stuff that is just sitting around, and there's just no use for it. Like, there's a lot of areas that have no use but just to sit there and look nice for my own pleasure. And even right here, like, this is my garden area. I can't even do anything with any of these plants. I could plant something right here, but I would have to water it every single day, and I do not have time for that. And right here, I have my little well. Even though there's no use because there's a pond right here. But it's okay, it looks nice, and that's all that matters. Again, right here is my more three fruit trees, and I think these are pomegranates for spring. And right here is my little sound block, and I can just keep going and going. And over here is my where I get batteries. And over here is my two little, I think these are called crystallariums. And I put diamonds in there, so I get diamonds once in a while. Here's another shipping bin I put right here because my farm is over here, and those animals just give off a lot of stuff. And I don't want to keep going back and forth to the top of my farm and down here to sell all the stuff they have. Right here is my fishing area, and, you know, I put bait in there, and I caught a snail. That's pretty cool. But see, a lot of just stuff sitting around, having no purpose. Over here is my honey, where I get my honey. As you can see, it's pretty full. And it's a small little area, but it's nice. It looks nice. I have the flowers. I have Mr. Frog right here. He's just chilling. He looks over my honey, so nobody steals. And then over here is where I get my sap from the three normal trees. And yeah, it's just over here. Coming over here, this pig really wants to escape. My animals have been stuck in this area for years on end. But you can't leave, piggy. As you can see, besides that pig trying to escape, there's a lot of animals that are all over this area, and it can get very, very loud, as you can hear. Oh my god. I just had a problem, because the game started to lag so bad, and I have no idea why. I, that's never even happened before. I must have that many animals. Because, as you can see, they're just moving around, and they're so loud that the game probably just can't handle it. As you can see, I have so much. I have 97 normal milks that have just been sitting there. They're probably spoiled by now. Getting out of that mess, over here I have the wood chippers. Just because. And here I have my silos. I only have 63 hay and I need to get some soon, but as you can see, I don't have a ton of money, but when 
I'm not lazy and actually go in and change and, you know, pick up the items that I have and I sell them, I make quite a bit of money. But I'm too lazy to do that half the time. Finally, over here is where my slimes are. And these guys are scary because they like to have a lot of baby slimes. And at one point, there was about 50 in here, and they were all clumped up against one corner, and they would attack me. And they are evil. They, they really... See, this one's coming after me already. Oh my god, how did he... That slime that just attacked me, he did not make it. I don't know how he got over that gate, but somehow he did. And coming over here... Um, I have more slimes, and as you can see, they all want to attack me, and I need to run away before they get me. Over here, I have two more slimes. I have a green one and a red one. And, um, that's all I have in here. Over here, I originally put a green slime and a purple slime, and together they just created this whole army, and now they're like these bluish purple slimes. It's very, it's very strange. So, going into this area, or this house, this is just a small library I made. And again, this place, as many others on my farm, has no use but to look nice. And I really like this library. And it's calming being in here, and there's not much to do but steal the coffee in this corner. But yeah, it looks nice, so that's good by me. Here's another sound block, and it's a drum one, and you know, every time I walk by, I can just... So every time I walk by, I can just, you know, listen to the sound, because it's nice. And over here is where all my, you know, cheese and mayonnaise and cloth machines are. And I only have a couple right now, because they're very expensive to make. And I need to go and get those materials, but it's going to take some time. Over here is my smelting area, and you can already see that I have four iridium bars just there. Because it's going to take me a while, because as you can see, I have a lot of ore that just is in there, and I need to smelt. Coming over here on the left my two windmills, and I don't know exactly how these work, oh, I don't know exactly how these work, but, um, I kind of just put seeds in there and hope something happens, right? So now that we're right here, um, this is my little, like, farming area for outside, I have the sprinklers ready to go, and, um, there's obviously nothing planting right now, because I'm too lazy to do all that, but, you know, when there's a whole bunch of crops there, it looks pretty decent. But in here is where I make a whole bunch of my money. On the left, I have my ancient berries, and on the right, I have my star drops, and they bring in, a, in pretty much all my money I have. Over here, I have the jelly um, machines. Or the jelly things? I don't know exactly what they're called, but they make the jelly. Over here is like the shrine. And I try to decorate it, but it doesn't look that good. Right here is um, a small little cave I have. And I got the fruit cave, and again, let's not go in there. That place is crowded. So right here is the other area of my farm, and right here is just a house that I have. Right here, oh, it's getting pretty dark, so you can't really see it, but it's decorated pretty okay. And coming down to this last building right here is my bot. And again, no purpose, but to sit here and make nights. It gets pretty dark in here at times. And finally, we're going to go into my house. Okay, so I just slept through the night because I really wanted to, you know, show off the house when it's light outside because at night it gets pretty dark in the house and you can't see much but over here is my dining area and I'm not sure how I feel about this area it's kind of empty right here but maybe I'll put a rug or something but over here I have my bread and jelly for 
you know, when I get home with me. Over here is my kitchen. And again, there's coffee here. Just for decoration. But I hate coffee. But it's nice decoration. I also have three fridges in here because I get so much food in this game. Coming down to my basement, it's just the regular basement. Just things in here that are, you know, trying to turn into Iridium quality, which is the best quality, so I can sell it for even higher. So, coming up the stairs in my house, this is my living room area, and I just have a jukebox TV. I like this area, but again, it has no purpose, just to look nice. Over here is my children's room that I made, and... I'm very happy with it, but obviously there are no children, but the good thing about Stardew Valley is you can do multiplayer and have arranged marriages. So, the last room in my house is over here, and I really hate this room. This is my bedroom, and it will definitely be changed because it's not that nice looking, and I need to change it so it's actually nice looking. Maybe with changing down here or something. Coming up here in the top of the bedroom is my chest and this is where all of that stuff you saw outside goes. All the statues and everything and just all cluttered in there. Even over here is my dresser and I have a lot of stuff and all of that. And telling by this outfit I just took out of my dresser, I am going to get that arranged marriage very, very soon. So, coming into here, this is the house that I made that I had originally shown, but it was nighttime. So, you couldn't really see it that well. And yeah, that's what it looks like in here. And here is the bar, and in the morning, which it looks pretty nice in the morning, but again, most of these places at night look very, very dark. And that was my Stardew Valley farm tour. It was very cluttered, it doesn't look the best, there are a lot of areas that need changing, but it was definitely something. But soon I will be getting that arranged marriage, I will be having kids, and you know, they will do all that labor for me.